We've had a look at real GDP and how it has to be calculated using a base year, but this does bring up the question, which base year should you actually use? So to try to answer that question, we're going to have a look at how the choice of base year actually does affect the GDP growth calculations. We're going to introduce a bit of terminology and talk about the idea of chain-weighted GDP. So to show that the choice of base year does actually affect the real GDP growth calculation, we're going to look at a very simple economy. Let's just say that there's only two goods, laptops and shirts, and the prices at which they sold and the quantities that were produced and sold in each year are given. So as an exercise, I would recommend that you pause the video and have a go at calculating the real GDP for both years using both possible base years. So you should get four results. Now assuming you've done that, you should get results that look a bit like this. So in the corners here, we've got basically the nominal GDPs. When you're using the same year for the prices and the quantities, you've effectively just got nominal GDP. So if you multiply price by quantity, price by quantity, and add those together, you get 100,000 plus 100,000. That's $200,000 in 2013. And in 2014, you've got 110 here, and 150 here gets you $260,000. And hopefully you got these ones correct as well. So what was the growth in real GDP from 2013 to 2014? 